The quarterback position is going to be the key position because you got to manage the offense, you got to run the offense, but that's, that's going to be key right there. And, and you just, it's, you know, what we got to have is we just need, we don't need a great play. We just need someone just to take control of it. They had some overthrows, and, and that's, a, that's a, the quarterback. You know, you, you got to bounce back and just get, you know, get your head up and just, uh, execute and just do what we ask you to do. And it is, it's about your confidence. And, and you, you, once you start managing the offense, and then you understand that you know you're going to run the offense, and that you have to have a sense of urgency about you. You like the way he was able to bounce back, and and, and like you said, made some some big missed some big throws there. You you like you like to see him complete those balls, but then the way he settled down and was able to bounce back, then you, then now you felt like okay, now he's he's getting himself back under control. You look at a quarterback position, and it's it's a position that is going to get a lot of praise and it's going to get a lot of criticism and. And because because you, you look at it, your, your team isn't going to go until your quarterback goes. So uh, we have to get better there. And whether it be David, whether it be Swoops, whomever it is at that position, we're going to have to be, we're going to have to play better and be better. When you look at the level of concern, you, you, you go look at it today and you, you go out and, and defensively, you like to play a lot better and, um, you know, get stops and, and, and make sure that teams, you don't allow team to just continually uh, drive the football on you. And then on offense, it's all about executing. But that's, that's going to come with focus. It's going to come with preparation. And, uh, and what, what happens, too, is that the players understand what we're looking for and what we're all about. And so once they understand that, then things will get much better. It's going to get better because now they, they're believing in the system. Well, if they trust and believe in the system, then we're always going to have a chance. I thought we had really good effort today. I, th I thought they would have competed. But then, you know, just assignments, we, we could have been better on our assignments and fundamentals and technique, too. You know, it's all about just tackling, catching the football, making the throws. But uh, those are something, you know, when you talk about fundamentals and technique, they can be corrected. Assignment can be corrected. We just got to do a better job of coaching. What guys need to understand is that if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will believe in you. You got to believe that you can go make plays and, and you, you have to believe that you're good enough. Sometimes you don't think you're good enough because when you haven't had success and when you always hear about being, so much has been made about bad things that happen. And a lot of times when a negative, when you hear so much negativity, you kind of listen to it. And, as, and that's what you can't listen to. And that's what I said to Tyrone today. Listen, you're a good player. Don't listen to what nobody said. You're a good player. So just settle down and become a good player. But that's what all of, you know, that's what uh, every guy within this program right now. We just got to be consistent and develop, develop some confidence and believe in yourself.